Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it has been some time since I have posted a video on this channel. So I was quite busy with my work and in fact I was taking some break from you know shooting the videos and reviewing the pants. But I wanted to end the year on a positive note. So here I am back with a new video, a review of another Indian pen. So the pen that I'm going to review today is Braille, a Braille signature pen. So I'll talk about the parts of the pen, my likes, dislikes, and before I start, I'll request my user, all the viewers to please subscribe to the channel to, you know, get updates on all the videos that I post. So uh, talking about this pen, so this is a fountain pen that has recently been launched by Braille not very recently but a couple of months back I think three months back three to four months back so this pen is a eyedropper pen so if you see this is an eyedropper pen so it has a very long barrel body and barrel in which it takes around 1.5 ml of ink this whole pen is made of acrylic the barrel the body the grip section and even the uh, cap is made of acrylic so the cap clip is also very good and it has this very you know beautiful transparent finial that looks great so if you open this pen so this pen has a ebonite feed and it takes Indian number eight nib, so it will remind you of, um, you know, airmail pens. This is this is this is very, you know, it looks very similar to airmail pens. So this is my airmail sixty nine, and this is Brill Signature. You can see it's quite similar, but Brill Signature is a little bit smaller than airmail sixty nine fountain pen and this is also a little bit lighter than that pen so as I told you this comes with a number 8 nib and this I don't know who is the manufacturer of this number 8 nib but this number 8 nib is friction fitted into this section and it can be easily replaced with any Indian number 8 nib so the weight of the pen is also quite good it is it is lighter than 6090 but you know it's quite good the size of the pen is also okay so this is not very too very small or very large you can post this pen but after posting it becomes a little bit uncomfortable so i think it you know it's i recommend to not post this pen but if you want you can post this pen the cap is a little bit heavier and it, you can see say that this cap is of around same weight of the pen actually otherwise this is a very very good pen from braille braille usually if you uh, know braille braille makes stationary products in india so they make pens that are quite affordable the plastic pens they all all of the pens made by braille are um, eyedropper pens and they are quite affordable as compared to other fountain pens they start from a range of 10, 10 15 20 rupees indian rupees so if you you know uh, i have been using actually this pen from past three months i think um, as soon as this pen was launched i bought this pen so three four months i am using this pen so with continuous use if you i don't know if you can pick this in the camera can pick this up there are small small you know scratches on this barrel they are bound to happen if you are not you know keeping the pen very safe or in in in, in uh, cloth uh, covers so these small scratches are bound to happen but they are uh, i think okay so not a very big deal okay so let's have a small writing sample so i have my rodia pad with me so pen is well signature this okay and ink is what 
Ultraman. Sanity. Oh. Yeah, let's write something. There is no substitute for hard work. Okay, so this is a fine nib. So this is a number eight fine nib. You can replace this with a medium nib if you want. So this being even being fine nib, this is a quite smooth nib. You can feel the nib, you know, gliding on the paper, but it is not scratchy. It is quite smooth. You feel some feedback, and but it is quite smooth. You can even write as fast as you want, and the pen does not skip at all. Now this pen is almost out of ink, so if you see this, this pen, when, when these eyedropper pens are running out of ink, they tend to, you know, throw more uh, more ink on the paper. So they tend to burp actually, so that's why probably, you know, you will see this these eyedropper pens running quite smooth and with you know much more ink when they are running out of ink. So to avoid burping in in eyedropper pens i recommend whenever the ink level is below half just refill the pen again otherwise they will burp and then they can ruin your paper so the price of this pen is rupees 500 and it is quite good and competitive as compared to other uh, eyedropper pens in the Indian market. So we have we have airmail pens. Then we have other uh, you know uh, make made pens. We have pens from Lotus. They're, they're high range pens. So this is best compared to the airmail pens. So this is very very competitive price. And with this with this price range, I think this is a very very good pen to have. So I th I hope this video. You know, you all, all likes you all like this video, and you know, please do like the video and share the video. And wishing you all a very very happy new year. Hope this new year brings you all the happiness and success in the world. Thank you. Bye.